Neil, uh, we've got uh, a very special guest in the studio. He's the CEO and founder of School Hack. Now, we're hearing so much about uh, artificial intelligence mm-hmm. and also chat GPT. Um, a lot of people tend to be scared by these sort of things, but the more and more I read about them, uh, the more and more people should realise that this is going to be a part of life and they need to embrace them. Which is so true. You know, the sooner you adapt to all of these uh, new technologies, the better it gets for you. Uh, the first mover advantage will always be with the ones who actually adapt and adopt this technology as compared to stay uh, scared of this and stay away from it. Because like you mentioned, Kitch, it is going to be a part of our lives in, if if not more, a couple of years at least. Definitely. Well, the CEO and founder, Mohamed Kaila, joins us in the studio. Thank you very much for coming in. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. Have you, have you always been into technology and have you always been an early adopter of new trends? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I've been into technology for a while now. I was started off as an early crypto investor. Right. Yeah. Okay, well, well why are you still working? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, good question. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, the idea of School Hack, uh, how, what is it and how did the idea come about? So, yeah, School Hack basically is an AI power tool to assist students through learning. And how it come about was really when, just like everyone else, when ChatGPT first come out, I was like truly amazed. You know, I've been um, researching, you know, AI for a while now, so I was aware of that the general generative language AI models, but when it got available to the public I was just amazed as everyone else so me being semi dyslexic I thought wow what what a great way to help other people like just like myself you know Wow, this is incredible. But, you know, many times when you, when you speak to school teachers, principals, professors, uh, at even at universities, they say that, hey, you know, it is a path that one has to tread very carefully. You cannot be completely reliant on AI, but at the same time, yes, you can use it carefully and make education better. What is your stance on it then? Yeah, um, I agree. I agree with the institution, like as... As, as good as AI is, it does come with, you know, some disadvantages for those, those people who are going to be using it unethically. So us at School Hack, we've actually developed a solution for the educational system to make sure AI is closely monitored and used in the correct way. Mm-hmm. Well, this is uh, amazing because you know, there are so many um, platforms like this, um, but you're actually uh, saying what to, you want to beat Kareem in having the first 100,000 downloads in, in, in 20 days. Tell us the story about this because Kareem's everywhere <laughs> in this country <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. and you were able to beat them uh, out of the blocks. Yeah, um, we did. We did beat Kareem. And um, no, no, like, of course, we, we greatly admire Kareem and we appreciate what they've done for the tech space here, yeah. especially in this region. And and, and to their credit, um, their hundred thousand users was in uh, compacted in a in a small region, you know. Whereas we have the ability to scale across the globe, so it was uh, it was easier for us to generally beat them. But never than that, uh, but say less that we are very happy that we did beat them. Yeah. Let's, let's not get bogged down in the detail, <laughs> then, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't want to. You know, I don't want to uh, make it sound like you know that um, like too competitive. But yeah, we 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 are we are happy to. That's a, that's a record that we are. happy happy to hold and uh, big shout out to Kareem um, they embraced us as well when right. we when we did make it known they actually came and they commented on my LinkedIn post about it so wow. um, great 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 shout out to them for sure you know talk us through a, a typical user experience so we've got the app I've, I've got the app chat GPT and I've used it uh, but for example how are users going to use the school hack program Okay, great. So, like, uh, ChatGPT is great. Uh, essentially, it's just a chatbot where you can um, just, like, as you know, prompt it how you like. Uh, School Hack is actually more tailor made for the students. So, of course, we've got a chatbot in there as well, same as ChatGPT, but we've got uh, more extensive tools that are tailor made for students. For example, we have something that we call DocuChat. So, DocuChat. Unlike ChatGPT, you can upload any any document onto DocuChat and communicate with the actual document. So, for example, if you've got like a, you're busy at work, you've got an Excel sheet full of numbers and you just want to get it organized really quickly, you can just upload this Excel sheet onto DocuChat and just write a prompt like, uh, can you put this in the correct order from this date to that date, for, just for example. 
Because that's one of the things I struggle with learning Excel on a PC. I, I'm actually, you know, working on an Excel sheet. <laughs> there, there, are, there are at least 13 people that I need to put things order off and I haven't got my head wrapped around it. I'm going to use... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what made me, uh, you know, that was, that's, what, that's what made me uh, give the example, actually, just looking at your laptop N- right Neil, there. I think Mohammed uh, looked at your Excel spreadsheet skills and probably thought, <laughs> oh, maybe you could use school. <laughs> oh, you bet. Seriously, no, I, I definitely would. But tell me something, you know, Mohammed. The other day I was, uh, you know, reading about this guy. He's a music composer, okay? And he used AI to use Drake's voice and made Drake sing a Hindi Bollywood song. Oh, yes, yes, Okay, yes. And, and, and that, that video is going viral, like crazy viral. <laughs> so will school hack be able to do something for an arts major to give a physics submission? Oh yeah, um, we're gonna we're actually like looking at the concept into like working with other AIs uh, tools. Like um, there's one called Midjourney, mm-hmm. which is essentially like a prompt to image and prompt to video service. Okay. So for the art students, we're gonna we we're, we're just like in like looking into that and seeing what we can do. But I also saw the you saw the, the video. The, yeah, I also saw that video, and uh, yeah, that is very disruptive to the oh, music industry. I I must say, yeah. No, well, that, it's that not that hard. hard. Drake's too robotic anyway when he sings. <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I mean, he gets. A maybe half an octave in his range so uh, <laughs> <laughs> so maybe, maybe that's some there's some good work there but uh, for anyone I want to know the advice if you're a teacher some teachers or particularly maybe not teachers but educational institutions as a whole yeah. might be afraid of this so when I uh, went back and studied 10 years ago every uh, essay had to be uploaded to the turn it in system yes. and then it went to California and then they go oh, you've uh, you know copied 4% of someone else's it needs to be 2% and it comes back um, for anyone who has advice what advice do you have for maybe educators that are looking to incorporate different forms of AI into their strategy yeah, okay, this is going to sound like a bit of a pitch or a plug here now. But um, as I said earlier, we actually have made a solution. So we've got something called like uh, School Hack Portal. This is specifically for the institution. And essentially, they can give this service, they can give School Hack as a white label service to their students, but they are able to monitor it. They are able yeah. to see what prompts the students are asking and what output they also get in. They are, they are able to see everything, what they do on the app, what documents they upload what um, what media audio files they upload and so on and so forth just to have it safely monitored and um, if anyone decides to go outside of the ecosystem then we have uh, we're working with a with a great tool and great people down in San Francisco uh, with a with another thing called uh, GPT-0 which is actually an AI detector so um, if they step outside of the ecosystem of the white label of school hack um, and they just hand in an essay just like by cheating then we'll be able to detect it as well well, well that's no fun for students yeah. <laughs> and I, I don't, and now I really don't know if school hack is student friendly or the institution friendly because you're not letting the students do what they would love to do as in like you know cheat and copy and paste and put something right there but at the same time you're enabling them to learn more yeah, um, where school hack is law friendly. So, <laughs> <laughs> school hack is law friendly. We abide by the law. We believe in ethics, and we we do believe in in the old old fashioned roots of education. So, it's uh, although AI is uh, un- inevitably going to be very disruptive to every industry, we're just trying to you know maneuver and steer the ship and do everything in the right and correct way. Wow. Well, this is incredible. You, you know, your success is great. And uh, I believe you're actually going to be speaking in uh, beautiful San Diego. Uh, you've been invited uh, by GSV Ventures, which is the largest ed tech investment firm. Um, uh, the founder was one of those early adopters into uh, many of the big platforms like Twitter and Snapchat. This is a great thing to be invited to such a prestigious event. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Um, actually, one of our representatives and my, one of my partners, uh, Ishan, he's there now currently. He's in San Diego now. He's uh, shared with me a picture of Bill Gates, the legend himself. And he's uh, rubbing shoulders with, with all sorts of great people down in San Francisco. And yeah, it was a great honor to be invited there, but especially us being so early. And, and what do hope to achieve out of something like that other than just networking and learning from some of the the great innovators what do you get out of something like that when you're represented there oh like we it's, we, we actually get a lot like literally we we've met as we, we met michael himself the the ceo of the of gsv ventures yeah. Ishan like was been talking to him been talking to some of the great team down at gsv ventures and it's just like networking of course we are in talks with a few venture capitalists so maybe we got invited down there you know as a you know as a like 
how do you describe, how do you describe it like maybe like as a as a gift almost mm-hmm. you know like right. yeah because you know like right now we we are going to be going for investment soon like within the next couple of months but we're not taking any investment just as of right. yet so i think it was just like a friendly gesture by gsv ventures that we gladly accepted and it's just great to be in and around the people of that quality within the tech space for sure oh, this is fabulous man i mean the way things have moved ahead for you it's just incredible now you know when we whenever we talk about movement we talk about evolution you know i i i go and teach at a couple of universities where i do my lectures and everything uh from what we used to study back in the days to what education has turned around that has itself taken a massive curve right but with ai coming in the evolution of education as, as a concept is going to change where do you see this evolution going how do you think the pathway is being created yeah uh yeah it's crazy ai is as i said it's going to disrupt like most industry but not only disrupt like i think people keep an eye out for the disrupt in this you know mm-hmm. like but how is going to ai is going to like bring human human humans to the next level you know it's really going to increase our productivity and it's going to li- literally open the world up for us and we're going to be able to do m- things that we would have never been able to do in the past right. so i see it as as a plus for humanity mm-hmm. and as long as it's just controlled right you know cuz no one wants to see like the terminator play out in real life <laughs> <laughs> so so as long as, as long as the powers that be the people in charge like they control it and and it's monitored correctly and safely it's gonna it's, it's gonna really like every single industry like you're gonna hear music that you've never heard before you're gonna hear you're gonna like great minds are gonna come out of this there's gonna True. be the world is gonna evolve in a way that we've never seen before with AI so uh, but are you finding you speaking that on, on getting away from uh, you know the business model of school I can go into the wider thing of the implementation of technology have you noticed in 2023 humans are probably more understanding and more accepting of change probably than they've ever been because you know, I've had this conversation with friends all the time. If you told us, hey, uh, we're going to have to be wearing masks and gloves and QR codes to scan you know, <laughs> everywhere we go, no one would have believed us 10 years ago. Yeah. And then it became the norm. And yeah. I think that the way we've seen things change with technology and, and our dependence on phones, do you think that maybe we're now more accepting that things are going to change? Yeah, definitely. Us as humans, we're like... A we're easily adaptable you know we, we we get used to change like rather quickly but we and still fear it at the same time yeah yeah absolutely yeah no we do we do we do <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, we do but um yeah i feel like yeah we're, we're, we're gonna be adjust we're gonna be adjustable everything's adjustable you know like we've seen like great changes with social media you know just like 10 15 years ago not everybody was on their phone as much now everyone can't go like five seconds without their phone you know so um we're embracing technology as a as a as a species like in general I believe and I feel like this is just another change along the way some are going to like it some are not going to like it but uh, it's going to do us all, all good for sure yeah, well this is incredible Mohammed. it's great to uh, see you in Dubai no doubt a hustler like yourself this is the city where you need to be isn't <laughs> absolutely. it absolutely yes 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 well yes. all of your success congratulations um, if people want to get more details about this uh Oh, is it old school to say website or should they just get the school hack app what's the yeah, best way absolutely they should go on the app store or play store and uh, type in school hack and download the school hack app now wonderful fantastic well thank you so much for coming in congratulations on your success Muhammad Caleb thanks for your time thank you very much guys thank you talk 